You are a hardworking person. You watch all kinds of YouTube tutorials and you train a lot. Be it with friends, coaches, you name it. And you've nailed down your basic techniques. But when you join badminton groups, they mostly play doubles. And this is what happens. Where are you running, bro? You're supposed to stay at the back. Bro! I thought you wanted me to stay at the back. Bernard! So do you want me to go in front or stay behind? Doubles destroys friendship. My racket too. You basically crash and burn. The question is, how do you solve this problem? I'm going to show you the different formations. How do you train? and the exception to this rule. So, without further ado, let's fix up my hair and head over to the badminton court. Okay, so I'm on my way to the Singapore Badminton Hall right now and I hope that after this video, you will become better in playing you know, doubles but bear in mind, it's going to take a while, a lot of practice, still you actually remember the process, the movements but I just want you to know, you know, all great badminton players was once a beginner and if they can learn how to become good badminton players, so can you. So keep practicing and over the badminton hall now. Let's go. So I'm here doing my warm-up. Uh, what? Did you say I'm not doing warm-up properly? Really? Fine, fine, fine. I'll do the proper warm-up then. Happy now? Okay, so now we are all warmed up. Let's begin. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is the attacking formation. So attacking formation means one person is in front, one person is behind. This is ideal because any front shot, the front person can intercept. Ah, there we go. And any shot that's at the back, it's easy for me to intercept. Pa, pa, right? So how far front and how far back should we stand? So for the front person, uh, I recommend approximately one racket behind the service line. So this is roughly where his uh, center position is. So every time he hits, he comes back here. And for the back person, I would reckon that it's actually in the middle of the court. If you can, the more, the more front you can stand, the better it is because that's where you can pressure your opponent better. Of course, if you're not as fast, so you would probably need to adjust your position to be a little bit more back. All right, so as you get faster, your footwork is faster, you need to stand more forward as front as the back person. And likewise, uh, the front person, if you, know, you are having difficulty reaching the front, you may have to move your center of your return position back forward. So your return position a little forward. So basically, you need to vary your footwork depending on the situation. Now we move on to the defensive position. So for the defensive position, we will be standing side by side. See, one on the left, one on the right. All right, so the important thing to note is that uh, your footwork needs to vary depending on the situation. So what do I mean by that? If, let's say I'm the left person, if I lift a straight shot, right, I would have to guard the straight smash. So I need to stand a little more corner so that I can guard the straight. And then your partner would have to stand closer to me. So he needs to guard the center. All right? So conversely, if he lifts the straight shot, so pretend you lift, so he would move there and I would cover the middle, this way. Pa, pa, pa. All right? So that's roughly how you do the defensive position. So now the next question is, when, when do you use the defensive formation? When do you use the attacking formation? So the important thing to note is that for the formation, when, whenever the opponent is able to smash or do a downwards aggressive shot, you would want to be in the defensive position. Because if you're in the front and the player can smash, Headshot. So what you want to avoid is that situation. So as long as you're able to, the ideal position is, no, sorry, as long as you're able to, the ideal formation is always the attacking formation. So as much as possible, you want to be in the front back formation. So unless the opponent can attack, then you switch to the side to side defensive formation. Now you've nailed down the attacking formation as well as the defensive formation. So how do we actually practice the footwork? So over to the footwork. Uh, the first thing we need to learn is the communication. If you are hitting a high ball where we need to switch from the attacking formation to the defensive formation, you need to have some sort of call to action. Typically, what uh, people in Singapore, or at least I was taught, is that we will say things like free or square or lock, and then that's when we know we have to move to the side-to-side, side-by-side defensive formation. 
otherwise it's almost always the attacking formation all right and when we think of the footwork we think of okay uh, you know the six corner footwork where the player in front points to the player around the court so doubles it's the same thing except uh, we need to communicate with our partner when do we move in front when do we do the defensive side to side formation so as the front person pointing you can point uh, the top half in the front that means that the person have to come in front to do the tap if not the person will have to do a lift and when the person lifts you know what to do shout free or square and you know uh, move to the side to side position free similarly when you point back that is when we have our own discretion whether we want to do a lob a smash a drop and then react accordingly take note the person that's pointing will not be indicating what shot you should hit because in reality the back the back person will decide if they want to attack or they want to open up the game into a defensive play all right so this is roughly how it will pan out as you can see right now we're doing the footwork so one very important tip to note is that if you're in front never and i repeat never look behind because that's where the worst injuries occur So if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section down below. This is a little bit complex, but I'll try, I'll try to simplify it as much as I can. And there's one little extra thing that we need to learn, which is the rotation. So the rotation is kind of like an exception to this rule. The rotation happens when there is a nice shot where we can come to this uh, unique position called the double pressing position. Shuang, in Chinese, they call it shuang ya, means two person pressing the front shot. So this happens when uh, there is a mid court which is kind of a loose shot where the back person is able to pressure very strongly. So when the back person is able to pressure, then you would want to move forward and follow up because it's, the, it's, it's a much better position. So in rotation, it is always ideal to rotate forward because it's a lot more aggressive, it's, it's a lot more threatening. So this is an example of how uh, the forward rotation looks like. And then this is the double press formation. I really don't know how to translate it to English, but the idea is there's a double press formation, okay, just call it double press, uh, where two person is in front trying to pressure the opponent. This only happens because uh, players are unable to defend or the shots are really threatening enough that you can move forward and commit to the kill. Oh, so there was a lot of things to cover. I hope this video was helpful. You're gonna expect, or you're gonna have to expect a lot of clashes because that's what happened even for us because we haven't practiced this in a while. So the goal of this is to practice until you're very fast at this and then move over to multi-shutter drills. So wait, we haven't showed you how to do the multi-shutter drill. Okay, here's what. If we, get, we can get 45,000 subscribers in this channel, we're going to do a multi-shutter drill for the doubles formation strategies. Sounds good. And, you know, apart from this, did we cover everything in doubles? Hmm. Nah, we haven't. If you want to listen or watch more doubles football video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.